Hi, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to create a collection within Mahara. So what I'm going to do is I'm on the dashboard page again and I'm going to click on Portfolio. And what I can do here is I can actually create a collection or I can create pages. Now a collection is simply just a group of pages. So you can add pages into a collection afterwards and it just helps you to keep your um, Mahara portfolio organized and to keep all of your pages within certain uh, subject groupings. So I'm gonna click on collections. And here you get an opportunity to create a new collection where you add the pages individually or you can copy a collection. Now a number of collections have been made and uh, it's probably worthwhile just asking your facilitator before you go creating a collection whether there is a collection that can be copied. And in this instance, uh, for this particular subject, um, I'm going to copy a collection and really all of the templates are much the same. They've just got a number of pages to them. So I'm going to click on 1349 and search. And here I found a collection. You can see I have one page for activities and then a page for each of the assessment tasks. So I'm just going to copy that collection. And here now I can rename it. Now I think for this particular one, uh, I should check that beforehand. I'm just going to check and see what I'm going to call it. It's 2096. So I'm just going to change that here to 2096. Now I'm actually working on a uh, student's e-portfolio at the moment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pages that he has already created into this particular collection. So what I can do is at the moment the pages in the collection can be seen here on the right hand side. So you can see there's one for activities and then one for each of the assessment tasks and I can go into each of those and I can just edit the title of each. Let's change that to 2096 and I'll call it uh, activities Oops. and save and then get back to my collections and you can see here's my collection here and then I'll just change each one of these edit the page edit the title and description and and so forth and so on until I have all my pages named appropriately. So I can keep on going through that. Now you can see at the moment there is one, two, three, four, five pages as part of this collection. Now if I want to edit that collection, I can go in and I can edit the title and description here or I can edit which page or manage the pages in here. So I'll just go in here and I know that this is an activity that's been created and this is an activity that's been created. I'm going to add those pages into my collection. And here I can just shuffle them around. So I'm just going to move this up and move this one have a look at those I can click on here and I can navigate through my pages here and then I can edit and add to those pages as I go so the best way of actually adding activities into your page is let's edit this page and here I can just click and drag text and I can add some sample text in here You can see that comes up here. I can add images. Allows me to add an image. Or I can click on these and edit them afterwards as well. There's media, so you can add uh, galleries. 
so slideshows. Uh, you can embed media. I would tend not to embed media though. If you want to put URLs to things, then you come in into external media. And that's a simple way to actually go in and add a collection and edit your collection.